Hi everyone. After the I'll be back video, I had a few people contacting me asking me for an update to make sure I was okay. So I'm here to say that I'm fine. Well, not fine, but I'm getting by. I do want to let you know I went to the comments from that video and I'm genuinely humbled. You guys are the best. There was so much support and positive comments, it really helped. Of course, there were some idiots, but that's the internet. I guess being upset that I lost my best friend makes me a crybaby. Anyway, look at this. This is amazing. An average video gets a few hundred comments. Even this one that had half a million views got about 1,500 comments. The I'll Be Back video has less than 50,000 views but over 2,400 comments, with so many of them being supportive. I was at a major low point when I decided to read the comments, and seeing how many people enjoy my work and want me to keep going, well, it's exactly what I needed to see. I was at a point where I didn't know if anyone cared, and you guys did, so thank you. I did have some people asking me why I shared that part of my personal life, and I figured I'd be honest rather than just disappearing for an indiscernible amount of time. I figured if I just went dark for a couple of months, people would think that uh, either the channel was dead or that I was. I just didn't want anyone to worry. So, since I open up a bit, I'll tell you some of what I went through the past few weeks. I don't plan on this becoming a regular thing, but I thought maybe you guys would be interested. It started off with me not eating for two days. Finally, my wife forced me to eat something, and that helped snap me out of it. I was in this weird place that uh, I never was before, and I hope to never return. After that, I just kind of moped around. I tried to bury myself in work to get my mind off of things, but that didn't help. I didn't want to be alone, and thankfully I have a wonderful wife and son that I spent my days with. At night, after my son goes to bed, my wife is hopelessly addicted to the Hallmark Channel Christmas movies, and they've been running a lot of them lately since the uh, quarantine. So every night we've been watching these hyper-sweet movies. I have to admit, they are kind of what I need right now. As silly and formulaic as they are, they are in their own way helping. Plus, I see how happy they make the misses, and we've kind of invented some games about the different people in the movies. Aside from that, I fell right back into a major comfort zone, the post-apocalyptic. I've been playing this game called Elix. It's a post-apocalyptic game with mutants, cults, radiation, and the usual post-apocalyptic cliches. It's also really, really hard, which in its own way helped to distract me from my emotions. I don't mean hard as in get good, just unfair hard. Like, for the first ten levels, you're useless. In the starter area, the enemies are way stronger than you. It's like they want you to quit. Most of the enemies kill you in like two or three hits. I did manage to finish it, but uh, that was no small feat. I don't know if I'd recommend it or not. If you like dying a lot and some mediocre voice acting, then check it out. Anyway, after I got past the first week, I was able to focus. As I said on my Patreon, my sense of humor is broken. I often use humor as a coping mechanism, but uh, I'm just not feeling it right now. So for the foreseeable future, I'll be doing exploring episodes, which I know will make some of you very happy. I know some of you prefer those over the Good Bad Flicks videos, and the truth is, as I've said before, I enjoy making both. The exploring episodes are much more intensive and take longer to do, and the Good Bad Flicks episodes are fun and give me a little bit of a break. If I made exploring videos all the time, I'd burn myself out. It's also why I wanted to get a few episodes in the can before uh, I officially came back so that uh, I'd kind of be ahead of the game. Because doing exploring episode every week, uh, it's not easy to do. Since the quarantine's still going on, I had a few people on my uh, contact list that I was able to get a hold of and talk about some stuff for uh, future exploring episodes. One in particular is a lot different from what I've previously done, but it's a really interesting thing that uh, I think you guys are really going to like. It's a project I've been dabbling on and off with for about the past year, and I hope it goes over really well because uh, I put a lot into it. It's not movie-related, it's actually my first exploring video I've ever done on a video game. Again, thank you for being the best audience I could ask for. I won't let you down. I did read all your YouTube comments, your Patreon comments, your emails, your Twitter comments, your just all the positivity you sent my way, and it made a big difference. I'm looking to be back soon. I don't think my friend would want me to just fall apart, and I want to honor his memory by working even harder. So while I don't think I'll ever stop grieving, I can toughen up and continue on, and I'll do it for him. New videos are going to start sometime in May, and I'll be back on Twitch uh, probably around the end of the month, I think, too. I also finally think I'm going to start doing some live streams on YouTube and see how that goes. Thank you for all your support, everyone. Thanks for sticking around.
I'll see you soon.